God. Oh, it's 2 a.m. I haven't finished this project yet for discovering biological research. I'm gonna let my group down. Professor Daphne and Simone are gonna give me an F. Oh, I need to fix this. I need to save my grade. energy to do this project. Let's go. Let's go. I have energy. Alright. Done. Done. So, to submit this. <laughs> Although caffeine might give us an extra boost of energy, there are some disadvantages that come along with it, including increased heart rate, insomnia, increased blood pressure, and dehydration. Even so, 82% of U.S. adults consume caffeine, as do 43% of children aged 6 to 17 years and 41% of children aged 2 to 5 years old. Now, just as adults rely on caffeine, so do bees. Here you see bees getting their morning joe. Now you might be thinking, what? Bees don't drink coffee. Actually, they do. These flowers lace their nectar with some caffeine. And just as our bean brew wakes us up, the nectar gives them a boost in activity. So why may it be that flowers have caffeine? Flowers provide nectar for bees, and bees pollinate for the flowers. Their relationship should be mutualistic. But nature is not about sharing and mutualism. No, the flowers competed with the bees, and an arms race occurred. The flowers wanted the bees to do more pollination in exchange for less nectar. And then came the caffeine. In Dr. Margaret Kuvillon's research, it has been found that bees love caffeine. They keep going back to the flowers that have it, but they don't take as much nectar. Since Dr. MJ Kuvillon is the resident expert on the flowers and bees arm race, we asked her to shed some light on the topic. We wanted to know what were the effects of caffeine on the behaviors of the bees as they forage, and what we saw is that they essentially make the, the honeybees behave as if the forage is of a higher quality than what it is. So uh, if it's sweeter, the bees think it's more rewarding and they forage more often and they are more likely to waggle dance and then once they dance they repeat it more. And so basically we gave them this choice where they could forage on a, a sucrose solution which is like nectar and then an actual an equal value sucrose solution. They're both one molar but the treatment one had this little bit of caffeine in it, and the bees behave as if it is a sweeter solution than what it actually is. They're, they're energetically equal. Their activity increases, and therefore their pollination does as well. The plant really wants its pollen to be transferred, but it takes a lot of energy to make nectar, especially sweet nectar. Right? You, have to, you have to produce the substance, and it takes more energy from the sun to make it sweeter. So if it could get away with not making nectar but still receive high visitation rates, then it, it would. But of course evolution kind of keeps it at a balance, a bit at an arms race. But their use of nectar decreased. Seems like the flowers are winning this race. Come in. Hi. Hi, Dr. Silvers. Take a seat. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry I didn't hand in my project in on time. The, uh, there was an error in Moodle and I, I it just, there was an error somewhere in their software and the system crashed. It, would it be possible if I could hand it in today? It's a valid excuse, I mean, reason. But now, instead of submitting it online, I want you to actually present it in class. So prepare your speech for tomorrow. Okay, professor. All in all, caffeine helps to get that boost of energy that you need to finish a project or to improve your performance temporarily. However, it also has negative health impacts on humans. Similarly, in the case of honeybees, 
they, uh, the caffeine helps to increase their activity, but it also lowers their productivity so that they produce less honey. Uh, from the plant's point of view, it uh, gets the bees to come and pollinate them more often, attracts them. Uh, in this way, the relationship between plants and the honeybees goes from mutualistic to slightly exploitative. Thank you. Done. I don't need any more coffee. It's enough coffee for a month.